The Plexus 2500 is a low wear loss and alternating pres pressure mattress replacement system. It does have a weight capacity of 350 pounds and it does completely replace the regular spring mattress laying directly on the bed deck. The therapy is a dynamic system combined with low air loss and alternating pressure therapies with a five minute alternating pressure time cycle. It does have an easy to use caregiver panel for easy patient comfort control and it does have max inflate for easy patient positioning. The top sheet is highly vapor permeable and oversized for providing a low friction and low shear barrier against moisture complication. When setting up your Plexus 2500 low air loss mattress 36 inches wide by 80 inches long, you would first remove your regular mattress, place your mattress system directly on the bed deck, and then unroll your low air loss mattress across the surface area of your bed deck. The tube set should always go towards the footboard or foot section as to where your air control unit would be hanging. In. Once your Plexus 2500 has been unraveled, you may begin to strap and secure your low air loss mattress to your bed deck with a four corner strap. So in order to secure your air mattress to your bed deck, you would want to strap that down with your strap located at each of the four corners. You would have three loops on your strap on the bottom of your air mattress. You would want to use your two bottom loops in order to use the strap to strap your mattress to your bed deck. Start from the inside of your bed deck, placing the strap through and around the bed deck. Place the strap through the two bottom loops up over the top one, underneath the bottom one, and pull until the strap has secured itself around the bed deck. Any excess of the strap, you can, you can simply wrap that strap around the bed deck in order to ensure that it does not hang down freely. This same action will be needed on all four corners in order to secure your low air loss mattress to your bed deck. After all straps have been strapped, you can go ahead and inspect the inside of your air mattress to ensure that your air manifold has not been kinked or twisted and that your air cell connections to your air manifold are firmly connected to ensure proper inflation. Making sure that it is straight and there are no kinks or twists harboring the airflow, and as well as checking our male and female connections from our air cells to our air manifold to ensure that they are all firmly connected. Once you have inspected, you would want to take your air tube set and connect your air tube set to your air control unit which will be hanging on your footboard. Simply guide the male and female connection pieces together and press until they click into place. Once they have snapped into place you can pull slightly on the tube set itself to ensure that they do not disconnect. After your tube set has been connected you may go ahead and check your power connection by simply taking your power cord and plugging that into the power receptacle on the side of your air control unit. Once power has been activated, you will see the yellow light displaying that there is power active to the air control unit. For initial inflation of the low air loss mattress, simply power on your air control unit by pressing the on button. After you have activated air pressure to your low air loss mattress, you may start to see it inflate. In order to speed up the process of initial inflation, you may activate your max inflate button on your air control unit, which will help inflate the mattress quicker. Once 
the plexus 2500 lower loss alternating pressure match has been inflated, you may cover that with your plexus top sheet, which is oversized for low shearing and it is vapor permeable for moisture complications. There will be 10 straps on your top sheet that you will need to strap to your low air loss mattress in order to secure the top sheet to the mattress and ensure patient safety. So you take your strap from your top sheet, you will have a loop that is free from your bottom of your low air loss mattress, go through the loop and velcro the strap back to the top sheet. Once your top sheet has been placed, you may go ahead and use your low air loss alternating pressure mattress for patient use. From the face of your control unit, you will have your soft and your firm comfort control settings. In order to make any adjustments to your soft or firm comfort control settings, simply press your firm or your soft to decrease or increase air pressure. The Plexus 2500 low air loss and alternating pressure mattress is always on low air loss therapy. If you wish to utilize your alternating pressure therapy, you will need to activate your AP by pressing your AP button. When you press your AP button, you will see a green light that will display notifying the user that the AP function has been activated. This will cause your low air loss mattress to be alternating pressure as well and it will work in five minute time cycles. One cell would be firm, one cell would be soft, one cell would be firm, one cell would be soft through the mat mattress for five minutes and after five minutes they will alternate meaning the cells that were soft would now change to firm and the ones that were firm would now change to soft and it will continue in that fashion every five minutes. To deactivate your alternating pressure cycles, simply press your AP again, making sure that your green light has been powered off and that will disconnect and discontinue your alternating pressure function. Max Inflate, we said, was used for initial rapid inflation of your air mattress. Nurses and caregivers may also use Max Inflate in order to have easy patient positioning to help the patient get in and out of bed and to help treat the patient's wounds for patient care. The Max Inflate does have a 30 minute time limit where after 30 minutes if it is activated it will automatically shut itself off going back to the normal comfort control setting selected from the therapist. Your Plexus 2500 low air loss therapy is low air loss and alternating pressure, 36 inches wide by 80 inches long, and it does have a weight capacity of 350 pounds. If your top sheet does get soiled for any reason, you may want to clean your top sheet with a mild and soap and water solution, spray the top sheet down, wipe that with a damp cloth, dry that with a dry cloth, do not place any linens on until it's completely dry. Please do not use any bleach or ammonia on the top sheet itself. If you did need sheets to cover your lower loss alternating pressure Plexus 2500, you can use one fitted sheet if needed, one flat sheet if needed. If you did need bed pads for incontinence, you can use one bed pad. The more material between the patient and the surface area of your lower loss mattress, the less therapeutic it will be for the patient. If your air control unit does have any type of surface dust on it, please do not spray anything directly on the air control unit itself. Spray down a damp cloth with a mild soap and water solution. Wipe it with a damp cloth and dry it with a dry cloth. Always ensure that your tube set is disconnected and all power has been disconnected from your air control unit when cleaning the surface area. Your 
Plexus 2200 lower loss mattress replacement your Plexus 2500 lower loss alternating pressure mattress replacement and your Plexus 1000 alternating pressure mattress, made, uh, mattress replacement may have an added safety bolster top sheet for patient safety and patient positioning. This may be applied by first removing the top sheet from your Plexus low wear loss mattress replacement. You would unvelcro all of your straps from the locations on your mattress in order to remove your Plexus top sheet. Once all straps have been removed, you may remove your top sheet and set that on the side. After your top sheet has been removed, you may take your safety bolster top sheet and open. Your safety bolster top sheet should always go over the air cells underneath the plexus top sheet itself. You do have a side that is labeled head and foot. So if you're unsure how they should be applied, you will have a tag that will notify you which is the head section and which is the foot section. Once your top sheet is open, you will completely cover your low air loss mattress replacement. After your safety bolster sheet has been covered, you may go ahead and strap down your safety bolster sheet to your bed deck in order to ensure that the safety bolster sheet does not move for patient safety. You will have quick release straps, quick release clips in order to release the straps from the location. Any excess straps, simply wrap that around the bed deck so it does not hang freely. There will be 10 straps in total for you to strap your safety bolster sheet to your bed deck. After your safety bolster sheet has been strapped down over your lower loss mattress, you may go ahead and velcro your foot stop cushion into place. After your foot stop cushion has been velcroed into place, you may then go ahead and proceed with the normal setup of your top sheet over your safety bolster sheet. Please remember to strap down your top, your place's top sheet to the strap location on your low air loss mattress in order for patient safety. Always ensure that all straps are strapped to the bed and all top sheet straps are, are firmly velcro and strapped to the low air loss mattress. That is the setup of your safety bolster top sheet applied to your plexus mattress. This here is a clip for your top sheet or flat sheet. If a top sheet or flat sheet were to be used to cover your low air loss mattress safety bolster system, you can simply pinch the sheet in between here and then clamp that down. Doing that motion on all four corners of the straps will help to secure your top sheet from moving.